I never thought I would live through the decline of an empire, but let me tell you, it's gonna be a wild ride. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And I was thinking about this a little bit recently. Um, I saw some poll come out that basically like the Trump is projected to get more than half of the, the general, the popular vote uh, come, you know, the next election here. And for all intents and purposes, right, he's probably going to win the Republican nomination. I have a hard time seeing where he doesn't win that. Uh, you know, there's a love of Trump and um, none of the other candidates are really shining that well anyway. So more, more than likely he's going to win that, right? That, that's a heavy, heavy favorite there. And whoever the Democrats decide to put up, he'll run against them. More than likely, he's, he's going to beat them. Uh, if, <laughs> if there was a free and fair election, and we all know how that goes. So just, just set the election issues aside um, for a second here. And as I was thinking about this, I'm like, okay, you know, Trump projected to win, uh, you know, the vote if it, was, if it was fair. So where does that put us, really? And as I thought about it, I thought our, our current leading candidate for fixing things, for making things better, believes in red flag laws, bragged on Twitter about raising the smoking age to 21, uh, banned bump stocks, right? He was part of that whole thing that we're still fighting and, and getting that fixed out. Uh, gave us the COVID shutdown, fiasco, disaster, gave us the COVID vaccines, has never since apologized or said, who, hey, my bad for any of it. Um, you know, gave us Fauci, right? Never fired Fauci. Uh, didn't really do too much with the FBI, certainly not enough. Um, increase the debt. Didn't start any new wars, I'll give him that. Uh, signed, uh, you know, billions and billions of dollars of budgets that don't mean anything. So, if that's the best hope we have for fixing this, couldn't get a border wall built. I mean, to be fair, he did try. Uh, if that's the best hope we have of fixing this, do you think there's any way out of this? Honest question. I, I tend to not, right? I think we are well past the point of no return, hence the name of this, this little series. Meaning that uh, we have reached whatever that apex point of no return is, and there's no going back. There's going forward, we're gonna see what's ahead of us, but it's gonna be a ride to the bottom, and then there will be something born new out of that. There's always something new, there's always something that comes after. What is that gonna be? How are we preparing to set that up now? Because the current system, it just isn't going to last. Maybe it'll crumple in my lifetime. Maybe it won't. It doesn't really matter. It's not going to make it. We are in the death throes of the Republic here. And the history about this era that will be written 100 years from now will be super interesting to read. And I'm just sad I won't be around to read it. So when you think about it and you just think that your, your leading candidate, your, your best hope isn't really that great. Again, you got to understand it's that ride to the bottom, right? We've reached this place in America where all of our leadership, you know, elected officials, are super old. I mean, Trump is over 70 now. Uh, and because they're all that older boomer generation, they've adopted this mindset that the government is here to fix it. And most people have got, most people in the country have gotten on board with the government is here to fix it. That, that's, that's the problem. When uh, we as a nation believe that the government is here to fix it, there's, there's not a lot to go back from because then every problem becomes a government problem. Well, people are doing X. The only solution I can think of that would actually do anything is a law, right? Is enforcement, is, is sending some police officer over there to handle it. And if you don't comply to threaten you with violence, right? That, that, that's the only solution I can think of in my little brain. And that's all. And when you only have a hammer, everything looks like a nail, 
right, as the analogy goes. And, and that, of course, creates all kinds of problems. And then you have all different backlashes that are, of course, ridiculous, like we need to completely get rid of all police departments ever. And you have this seesaw effect as, again, it seesaws right down to the bottom and crashes and burns. And we're going to find out how bad that is. So I don't necessarily think it will be some huge kinetic event, although that could happen. It'll probably just be a long, slow decline over the rest of your lifetime. And you just need to be prepared to that and understand the world that you live in and how you're going to, one, hopefully survive through that, and two, again, prepare for what comes after. Because there will be a new system. There will be a new America of some kind. I don't know what that'll be. I don't know if that'll be multiple countries. I don't know. But if you even look at a map of the world from like 50, 60, 70 years ago, there's a lot of countries on that map that don't exist anymore, right? I mean, even like Africa, like the country of Rhodesia doesn't exist anymore, right? We can talk about why and if it's a good thing or a bad thing or whatever, but that's not the point. There's a lot of changes that happen. And to think that somehow borders are frozen or things are always going to stay the same, well, that's just ignorant and you, you haven't read enough history. So I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying you should read more history uh, and, and you'll get to an understanding that, hey, things shift. This is all in flux. This is all fluid. The idea that this is going to stay the same is not realistic based on thousands of years of human history. Our best hope isn't enough. It's too little too late. Get to know your friends. Find a crew. I'll see you on the other side. Do brave deeds and endure.